Just when you think Florida could not get any crazier, well, it just did. Now, I love Florida. I've lived here my entire life. I really couldn't see myself living anywhere else. That being said, there are a lot of issues in Florida right now, and what I'm gonna talk to you about today might be the most criminal of all of them, and it's harming a lot of Florida residents. Now, I've made several videos talking about the insurance crisis in Florida, stuff like ridiculously high premiums, insurance companies not paying legitimate claims, insurance companies going out of business right and left. It is really a massive problem. And out of all the crazy stuff that's happening in this insurance crisis, what I'm gonna to talk to you about today might be the craziest of all. And it's something that you may have never heard of, but apparently it is happening to thousands of Florida residents right now. And why I say you may have never heard of it, because I haven't heard of it until just yesterday. And when I see reports like this, I need to share them with you guys because we all need to be aware as to what could potentially happen to you as a Florida homeowner. Now, whatever you think the reason is for this insurance crisis that we have going on, whether you think it's uh, inflation, uh, excessive litigation, hurricanes, a lot of my commenters would say greed, killer alligators, sharks with laser beams coming out of their eyes, whatever you think it is, you're probably right. The fact of the matter is the cost to insure a home is unaffordable for the average American. It's simply too high and then you don't have the confidence to whether you're even going to get a claim paid if there is a disaster. But I want you to hear the latest in the insurance saga here in Florida. Now there are two different things, two different things I'm going to share with you, two different stories. Now I want you to watch this first one because it could greatly affect you as a homeowner that's looking to sell their house. Selling a house can be a difficult thing. I didn't know that the nightmare was really going to be with the insurance company. After having my house on the market for a couple of months, I got a letter from the insurance company saying they were dropping my insurance. And the reason that they gave me when I called them is because it was up for sale. And they told me they re regularly check um, realtors, realtor listings and things like that in the MLS to uh, see if any of their uh, covered uh, people are selling homes. Their policy is not to insure homes that are for sale. And I asked why, and they said because it was a liability to them with increased traffic going in, in the house, which didn't make a lot of sense because if you have people over your house on a regular basis for gatherings and parties and stuff, there's gonna be more people in and out and an opportunity for more liabilities. So what that video just told me is that real estate showings are now considered a liability up there with hurricanes and hailstorms and earthquakes. And if you decide to put your house up for sale, uh, there's a good chance your carrier is gonna drop you because after doing some research, when I saw this video, I had to do a little research. This isn't just happening to one person. This is happening to thousands of people. They consider it a liability for someone walking into your house. God forbid you decide to throw a party and they find out about it because this, uh, this is uh, borderline insanity, scammy, criminal, whatever you want to call it. Now, before I show you the next crazy thing that's happening, I want to tell you the negative outcome that could happen if you get dropped while your home's up for sale. Your mortgage lender will then force insurance upon you, and it's usually going to be the most expensive policy. This is called force placed insurance. The power is out of your hands. None of this is in your control, and it makes for a a really unsettling situation and it's just another inconvenience that we've had to deal with here as Florida residents. I want to read you some legitimate reasons why people are getting dropped, okay? Now these are legitimate reasons, all right? Non-payment. If you just fail to pay your premium, it's very obvious you'll get dropped. Another one is frequent claims. If you're making a claim every week because you found a new scratch on your door, you're going to get dropped. All right, that's understandable. Another one is insurance fraud. Obviously understandable. If you set your house on fire and claim that it was uh, an accident, well, obviously you're going to get dropped and probably spend some time in prison. Another one is underwriting issues. If an underwriter finds things wrong with your house, an underwriter comes to your home and finds out there are other issues there, they can drop you. And so none of those, those are all legitimate issues to get dropped. None of which 
<laughs> say, if you put your house up for sale, <laughs> if you have a party with more than 10 people, we're gonna drop you. I read a stat this morning that was pretty crazy. It said over 68,000 Floridians will be dropped this month alone. Now, I don't know how accurate that is, but I did see that from several different sources. If that number is accurate, that's pretty crazy. Now, let me share with you the next story that's happening. Again, I just want you guys to be aware of what could happen to you as a homeowner. This couple got a letter from their insurance company saying, we're gonna drop you if you don't put a new roof on your house. So what did they do? They spent $25,000 to re-roof their house. Once they got the roof on the house, they had an inspector come over and do another four point inspection, taking photos of the brand new roof. They sent the new inspection in along with the photos and let me read you the article as to what happened. After sending in the photos to the insurance insurance carrier of the new roof, they received a letter of cancellation <laughs> saying that the roof has warping and rot as seen on page six of the wind mitt on the uppermost image to the left of the photos and does not appear to have a steady grounding as seen on page five. Well, the homeowners were really concerned about this. They were baffled because the upper left photograph on page six of their new wind mitt report didn't even show the roof. <laughs> so the insurance company was making things up. All right, so this was very scary. They forced you to pay $25,000 for a new roof. You put the new roof on and then you get dropped. And this is happening to a lot of people. I wanna show you this right here though first, because this is pretty cool. I, again, I really like Florida. <laughs> Florida's an amazing place. It just has some problems right now. All right, so I'm in Pensacola, Florida right now this is the pensacola blue wahoos stadium it's a double a stadium affiliated with the cincinnati reds it is an absolutely beautiful double a stadium that borders pensacola bay right here so it is a really cool place to come and walk and hang out and uh make videos and so i come down here all the time because i live pretty close to here it's also a cool place to fish you're allowed to fish this whole area as long as you have a Florida fishing license. Anyways, I'm having a hard time understanding how some of this stuff is happening. You replace your roof and then get a letter saying that you're being dropped anyways. That's what you're dealing with here in Florida. And a lot of this stuff is happening to Florida residents right now. There are hundreds of different articles, videos, situations of people talking about their real life experiences here in the state of Florida with insurance companies right now. You as a Florida resident, when you receive a letter from an insurance company, it's pretty scary because it's going to say one of two things. A, your premium's going up, or B, we're dropping you. Hardly, you never get a letter that says, hey, we just want to thank you for being a customer. Hope you have a great day. <laughs> now, here's something else to be mindful of, and I've actually had experience with this. I've had clients deal with this before, but insurance companies a lot of times will take your payment, your premium, prior to even deciding if they're actually going to keep you as a long-term customer. And so what they'll do is take your premium and then two months later, you'll receive a letter saying, hey, sorry, we're dropping you. It's once again, like you're in that abusive relationship where the first month the person is super nice to you and the next month you realize you're hanging out with a psychopath, okay? And that's, that's kind of what it's like. And what's crazy is there's no clear cut way to handle these situations. Florida is in a crisis. And I get that the rest of the country's in a crisis too. A lot of other states have insurance problems, but I live in Florida, so we're talking about Florida and I do think that Florida's one of the worst. Now I wanna read you some comments real quick just to show you how the general public feels about about this situation. Brand, if this skyrocketing insurance fiasco continues, tens of thousands of retirees like myself on fixed income will be forced out of their homes. This is a disgraceful turn of events. Why can't our governor and resident in the White House do something? I mean, a lot of people are upset. They're, they're real, they really are because Florida is not like it was four years ago, five years ago. The very same thing is happening in Delaware. We are overrun with people from our North New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York. They escaped those states because of higher taxes and cost of living. Delaware is cheaper than there, but anyone from here is being killed. They have driven the cost up of everything, driven the cost of everything way up and made traffic unbearable. Again, I get it. It's not just a Florida thing. It's happening all over the country. Florida just happens to be 
uh, where I live. Still waiting. I can't afford as a first time buyer, but I'm not paying these inflated prices that jump 50% over the last couple of years. Price to income ratio still matters. Couldn't agree more. And he's talking about the price of the homes, but price of everything else has jumped 50% too. Insurance has easily jumped 50%. A lot of people, especially first time home buyers, uh, the younger generation that's just coming out of, uh, that's just starting their career, married first time home buyers as married couples, they're having a really tough time purchasing a house right now. Good info, Brant. Everything is insanely high. I'm a native and the only way we can afford to stay is we owe very little on our home and mortgage is reasonable. But the criminals in the insurance industry are a major problem that cost us twice our mortgage payments. Wow, they are straight up greedy thieves. And fortunately, that person is in a decent situation because their overall uh, debt load is pretty low. That being said, let's talk about some good things about Florida. I actually have a Florida fishing channel with almost 300,000 subscribers where I do a lot of fishing videos all around the state. And I do a lot of travel videos in the state too, showing off the different uh, things that we do have in our state. That is uh, a lot of fun and interesting. And it can be a really cool place to vacation. Certain places are a good place to live. Like I said, we have a lot of issues at the moment. It's not the same Florida as it was four or five years ago. Folks, if you enjoyed this video, shoot me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, consider doing so and make new videos uh, about the state of Florida and uh, the rest of the United States here every week. And I'll continue to bring you any new updates I see that's happening out there. We'll catch you next time.